And tributes are pouring in this morning for champion skier Sarah Burke, nine days after a terrible crash. One of the greatest skiers of her generation has died. Burke, the 29-year-old Canadian, didn't just conquer the sport we'll of free skiing. She virtually created it. Look at the size of that 900. Enormous. Combining the skill the of skiing with the thrill of extreme snowboarding. Amazing work from Sarah Burke. But this morning, the sport she helped bring to life is mourning her death and questioning how it happened. Sarah was doing something that was well within the realm of her um, uh, abilities, uh, something, a trick that she had done many, many times before. Nine days ago, the six-time X Games gold medalist fell at the bottom of this skiing run in Utah. It's called a superpipe. She'd been training for the upcoming X Games. The fall was harrowing and brutal. Doctors say Burke severed a vital artery and went into cardiac arrest, but the damage to her brain was just too severe. Overnight, a statement that read in part, the family wishes to express their deep gratitude to Sarah's dear friends for their love and support. Snowboarder Kevin Pierce was one of those friends. He suffered a traumatic brain injury on the same course in 2009 and no longer competes. There's nothing mellow about the sports that we're doing and kind of the tricks we're doing. Burke's accident will now inspire questions about the sport safety, where over the years, jumps have gone ever higher and the tricks become ever more dangerous. Despite those concerns, this morning one thing is clear. No one is questioning the legacy of Sarah Burke. The freestyle skiing world has lost uh, its pioneer. It's lost its Johnny Appleseed. And speaking of that legacy, thanks largely to Burke's efforts, freestyle skiing will be an Olympic sport in 2014.